Hey y'all, happy Saturday. Welcome back to another vlog. It's Cameron. If you're new here, welcome. If not, welcome back. We are at the tailor today getting, I have to pick up my jeans and Corey is dropping off some, um, a suit that we're gonna get tailored. So let's go. All right, y'all, I'm vlogging on my phone because my I didn't bring my other camera battery, but we're downtown and we go to TNA Taylor's in New Orleans and we love them. So let's go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey. little later and we are back home took the best nap i tell y'all the best nap ever this afternoon it's now like seven something 706 and we're just getting up for real what's that noise what happened up there who's taking me baby welcome to my life them little long cat. <laughs> the daddy long legs. Yeah. In the dryer? Yes. Yo, we always find Moolah in the dryer. Never fails. Life of a hairdresser, okay? I'll be sticking money in my... Is that a 20? How do you like? Oh, no, that's one. I was about to get too happy. That's when you know. I always stick money in my little um, apron, and when I wash it, ain't no telling, right? So, I'm always finding something. Okay, so, but what we're about to do is... And also, I have y'all on my tripod. Look at me, growing up. Okay, I have y'all on my tripod. This, oh, okay. Still kind of getting used to this thing. Yeah, I ordered another tripod. Really good, really good price also. Um, so I will put that in my storefront. But finally, I have a, tri a tripod I can put y'all in there. Um, but we are about to hang up my pictures that I really want to put up on the wall. My, let me move y'all so we can, you can see where we're, where we're putting it. My plan is to put it on this wall behind our couch. So here, so like right here, this is the picture. I got it from Home Goods. like it's so cute. It was $99, well $99.99, so it was $100. So pretty, huh? Of course it's neutral because I don't really like color, but how pretty is that? And it's like the textured, Taupey beige color, but it has like this white oakish um, border, which I thought would go perfectly with my TV stand. Look at that, my TV stand and my um, frame TV cover or frame. So, so yeah, I think that's literally perfect. So, okay, so we got that's the picture we're putting up, and then I also have. These picture lights here, hopefully y'all can tell. I'm sure y'all have seen these all over TikTok and stuff, but they're gold. And I'm gonna attach a picture here of what it's gonna look like. But I'm gonna do one above it here and then the picture underneath. So I bought two of these. My plan is to, so I also bought, remember those canvases I bought from Michaels where I'm gonna do that in my room, my beauty room slash my office. Um, I just wanted to, I felt like I could play around more in there first for my first time. And then I'm going to put the light above that, above my dresser. So yeah, but first things first, I want to, I think Kylan and Anne are going to come over. And also Desmond's going to come over. I'm going to make them help us. But the first thing first, I want to, would you fix the thing? The camera? We got our cameras set up around the house. And, oh, perfect. Let me tell my daddy we fixed it. Yeah, tell, uh, yeah, tell. Oh, he's still gonna get his thing up. Oh, yeah. Oh, they're perfect. Perfect enough. Yeah. Okay. So, I'm first on to make my drink. Okay. We'll do that. So, so yeah, welcome to my little cocktail corner slash my coffee bar slash everything else. But I really want to get this area set up. I don't really have anything situated just yet. Um, But I want to make an espresso martini. Y'all know I've been on my espresso kick um so what i'm gonna do is take out my shaker we let the dog on um i think it's some espresso beans too 
But we left the silly old uh, measuring cup from for the cocktail set go down the drain and down the garbage disposal. So now that's broken. I think I have another one though. But basically what I use, my espresso martinis are more like, this is what I use since I don't have espresso here, is I just do um, my Mr. Black espresso liqueur. I'm gonna show y'all what it looks like. Okay, so I did find it. Um, so what I use, okay, so what I use is my shaker. I'm gonna get some ice in the shaker. You need your glasses. This is my Amazon glasses I told y'all about. And then Corey doesn't like the stem, so he's gonna use his little old-fashioned glasses. But this one is so cute, also from Amazon. Look how cute. I'm gonna do those two. We prefer tequila. Oh, this is the Mr. Black cold brew liqueur. And then what else? I don't think I need this, but I was using this. I think I'm gonna do a little, make it a little bit stronger without this. Because technically, this is the cold brew. So let's let's see how that works. And I just use a little bit of creamer just to help with like the flavor. Um, so we'll fill this up with ice. Okay, and we use as well. I just been, I'm using whatever tequila I have, but I don't, I don't really need like a very fancy tequila for this, so I'm gonna use Escobar. So I don't really remember the, the measurements, but I'm gonna eyeball it. Okay, so I have ice in here. I'm gonna do uh oh. I think this is an ounce. Yes, yeah, ounce. I'm gonna do four ounces of tequila. I'm making two serving servings. Escobar is so horrible, y'all. Oh, it smells terrible. It was like rubbing alcohol. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna wait on that because I might try to push it a little bit. And I know this is wrong. Like, I really do. I'm gonna do one, two. Did I have simple syrup in here? I don't remember. I have my recipe that I used on here. Okay, so I am going to use a little bit of the coffee because I don't have espresso because the recipe called for espresso and Mr. Black. Mr. Black is just the liqueur. So I'm going to, so it called for two ounces, this is for one serving, two ounces of the Mr. Black. So I'm going to do four ounces I'm doing two servings. I'm going to do two more. And I'm going to do two ounces of this iced coffee. Shake it up. And the more you shake it, the foamier it gets. I think I'm gonna put a little bit of creamer on top, just so it's a little tastier. We're gonna taste it first. For two servings. Here, we fix it. Good. That's great. So good. Ooh, I'm taking a little bit of coffee. Mm, that's so good. Okay, so we're gonna sip on that and make our thing. But I think I'm gonna try to foam my creamer a little bit to put on top. So here's my little hand mixer. I just got this one from TJ Maxx. It's very simple. White and gold. Y'all know the vibes, right? I'm gonna do a little bit of my creamer in this little clear. Thing. It's like a little ice cream thing. I'm not gonna do much. And I'm gonna just mix it. Oops. I'm gonna pour this on both of ours. I have guys to do a TikTok because I feel like I've cracked the code. Mm. Now it's not your traditional espresso martini, but it's done good. Oh, perfect. I'm gonna pour a little bit of course too. He's on the ground. Oh my god, he's on the ground. Don't push him. This is what it's like to live with a boy, y'all. Why didn't y'all tell me? 
And that's what they do. Get up, baby. Here's the remote. Let's crank it on. On. Cute. Okay, y'all. Happy Monday. We are doing a quick grocery unboxing. We got a, tar a Target order, a quick Target order, and then Costco, and then we need to hurry up and go to Trader Joe's. We're trying to get this day going. So I went to Target. I got an SD card, which I just put in the camera, and I got some copies. It's coming real quick. We went to TJ Maxx. I got some more containers because you can never have too many i got some more clear ones with the bamboo top i love the bamboo and i got this chopper and slicer i've been wanting one of these never got one i'm actually going to use that tonight for dinner and then i got some claw clips because i'm out of all my claw clips i got a gold one and a silver then i got some cookies from costco um i want to do like a cute little cookie jar so i got this i probably should get a bigger jar for that Y'all just need, we needed some snacks in here. Um, got some peanut butter crackers. Some salad mix. I love Costco salad mix. The Caesar. Got some more Brussels sprouts. We are a big Brussels sprouts house here. Got some lamb chops. Trying to decide if we're going to do lamb chops tonight or steak. I think we're going to do both. Here is some chicken wings. Party wings. I just get the whole pack and I freeze them. Um, and then I also got chicken breasts. Then we got some goldfish, some milk, and Kylan already opened them, but some veggie straws. Okay, I'm gonna put all this stuff up. All right, made it to Trader Jizzles. It's Monday, and the folks is up in here. I will wait for you. Look how pretty this is. Yo, look how pretty this flower is. Look how so pretty, with just a few like white flowers. I will wait for you. I will wait for you. I'm gonna do some eucalyptus for the smell with this. Where are you putting it? That would be good in the bathroom. Get a little small base. Okay, 
Trader Joe's done. Last stop is Whole Foods. I'm literally just going in here to get some scallops for dinner. Are you going in Trader Joe's too? Yeah, I want some shrimp, I think. I love Trader Joe's shrimp. Especially like the, they have you really good, Whole I mean, Whole Foods. I love Whole Foods mm -hmm. shrimp because they have really good, um, like peeled and deveined fresh shrimp and they cook well. They're not like those little bitty tiny shrimp. So if you don't feel like the veining, that's the place to go. Hurry and it's up, still like a good quality. I have to watch this car. <laughs> We need to put up. So for dinner tonight, we're gonna have steak slash lamb chops and potatoes and scallops and probably like a green. So maybe like I wanted broccolini, but they didn't have any at the store. So no broccolini. So maybe green beans or Brussels sprouts. I got this. I think I'm gonna scallop my potatoes and either do like potatoes au gratin. Oh my god. Oh. There's my loud AC again. So yeah, either do potatoes or gratin or gratin potatoes. And then, or do just like scallop them and, and I guess like saute them. I don't know. What the heck is all of this? Oh, they have different like attachments. I guess I'm supposed to read the directions, huh? Oh, so you just can pick. I'm not reading this right now. Okay, we're gonna just stick this up in here. How pretty are these? We like the big flower. think I'm gonna do some dried fruit for my bar that would be cute right would that be cute man? in this or should I do something a little more decorative I don't know but if I don't what else am I putting in here let me see I do also have these cookies which I wanted to do a cookie jar but I just feel like these are too small for the cookies so I need a bigger jar I may run back to TJ Maxx if I'm feeling fancy and get a bigger one for the cookies and then get like the little, they have some little small cute ones for the dried fruit but I don't know is that doing too much it's really not because I I want I want to dry the fruit out and do like a cute little thing for my bar can you dry out strawberries does that work because I have some strawberries I'm just not crazy about how these looks they were very light skinned and not looking very juicy, so I haven't really ate them. Let me look that up. Can you dehydrate strawberries? Cause that'll be cute. I wanna do like limes, lemons, and then like a different color. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do these strawberries that I'm not gonna eat. I'm gonna do some lemons, some limes, and then put, all you have to do is put it in the oven or you can use the air fryer. I'm gonna use the oven just so I can have a little more space. It takes a while, but we have nothing but time. So I'm about to cut these up and then we'll do that. That'll be so cute. Um. Before I do that, I think I'm gonna put my flowers up. I got these from Trader, Joe, Trader Joe's. And um, I just think they're really cute. I love the big flowers. That's what really made me get them. But I needed some more flowers for my base that goes in my office. So I got that one. And these are long enough, so they should be good. This is a long, tall base. Let 
I'm gonna cut them a little bit. I like my, oh, they're very sticky. Oh, they're very sticky. Wow. I like my flowers to sit like right above the base. I'm cutting them at an angle. Mm. Mm, some strong bases. Now this, this little bark, this little tree trunk, I don't know how we're gonna, the ghetto in me is about to just crack that sucker. I need, I need a bigger scissors. I hope that doesn't mess the flowers up, honestly. But, hey. Man, these are strong. Oh, I could have used this. Dang. I am tearing these things up. There's no other way for me to cut them. I probably should have used like some ply or something. I know Corey has some in there somewhere. Okay, that's gonna have to just be good. Man, they smell. They're giving me like winter vibes. The colors and like. Oh shit! I'm doing a little ice water. Not really, I don't fool with them too much. I just think this one is so pretty. This big one. I kind of want it to be in the middle, but like fall over. And then it has eucalyptus with it. Oh, it's just very like natural looking how's that i think it's cute i'm not like a florist or anything i think it's cute because this one kind of like hangs over can y'all see is that cute don't lie okay so that's that let me wash my hands because this is like very sticky potatoes not sliced them but peeled them i actually peeled them on here 
and I'm gonna just go ahead and like also scallop them or whatever you want to call them on here. This like changes the game. Oh my god. And it's not, I was worried that it was gonna be too thin, but it's really not. To figure out how to really attach everything. But once I did, it's so easy. I've mixed the um, salt, pepper, garlic powder, and the um, salt, pepper, garlic powder with the, oh my god, I cannot talk. I mixed the salt, pepper, garlic powder, and uh, with the, oh my god, what the heck, with the lamb chops and the steaks. Lord have mercy. Oh my god. But for the, I mean, with the lamb chops and the steaks, but for the steak only, I wanted to go in and just make sure I really coated it really good with um, salt. I wanted to do the crystal salt. This is um, sea salt, but it's like thicker grains. Um, and then I want to do a little bit more pepper. I just wanted to make sure I could really get it on there. Good. And then I'm gonna do a little bit of garlic on both sides also. I think I did a little bit too much pepper. That's okay. Trying not to get meat on my hands again. So there is the steak. I'm gonna wait until we're about to eat to put this on. It won't take long. Let's let it sit out. And then. For the um, lamb chops, I do want to go in and put a little bit of thyme and rosemary on them. Little rosemary flakes, just a little. Whole rosemary will really do it in the pan. Oh, it's gonna be so good, y'all. I can smell it. I can smell the flavor. Spoon. And then I'm also gonna cook some chicken thighs and have that cooking. everything in this pan so I don't have to wash more dishes normally I would melt this first but I'm, rem I'm realizing I really don't have to do that because it's gonna melt in the I'm doing it in an air fryer today which is different but my, I have other stuff in the oven I hope this is gonna do what I thought it's gonna do since I'm not melting it Some crushed red pepper now personally I don't like too many because I don't want them to be too spicy, so just a good bit like that. A little bit of garlic. Once again, love the garlic. And it helps balance out like that sweet. And it's from like the um 
brown sugar and the other stuff. And then lastly, some pepper. It's just some black pepper. So normally I do my butter in there too, but the butter, I didn't, I didn't want to melt. I was trying so hard not to make another mess, because I think I want my butter to help it all stick together. So let me melt some butter real quick. This is for the sprouts. I'll put it in my little silicone tray for my air fryer. I might have to do two um, sets or two runs. I'm trying to get this minced garlic off the bottom. For my oven. Not up in my air fryer. I think I'm gonna put it on maybe like 380. Oh, and this. Oh wait, sorry. This is the function dehydrate. I don't know if you ever see it. That you can use to like dry out your fruits and stuff. But I'm gonna do air fry. I'm gonna do like 380 for about 15 minutes, and we'll see. I'm gonna find no dry. Damn, they work me so damn hard. Work by nine. Then off past five And they work my nerves That's why I cannot sleep at night I'm motivation Alright y'all So the fruits are done dehydrating So I just put them in my little thing It's a little foggy in here Because they're still a little warm I think they're so pretty So if I'm making like cocktails Or something like that I can garnish with some dehydrated fruit Super pretty so I'm going to leave the top off for a little while so they can cool down, but here are them. I put them on 370 in the oven flat, um, and I flipped them once for about seven hours. Um, that's how they came out. So, they look really nice. Hey y'all, it is actually a few days later. It's Wednesday afternoon. I'm home from work. Please excuse my hair. Last night, I called myself washing my hair. Cause I, it just needs to be done. I couldn't keep wearing it in that bun. I wanted to like really moisturize it, deep condition, all that. So I did that. But once it got to the styling part, y'all, I just was like, mm. I wasn't feeling it like at all. I went. So what? I, what actually happened? I washed. Thank God. Oh, y'all, that AC. Yes, yeah, so I washed my hair at the shop, put a deep conditioner in it, and I didn't want to like style my hair and everything at the shop because I had things to do. So I just kind of pulled my hair up in a claw clip and went about my day right left my deep conditioner in but i was going to tackle tuesday later that night so i didn't want to wash my deep conditioner out and then have to put twists or something in and wear my twists to tackle tuesday see see how natural hair is like a it's like we have to plan just to wear our hair like we have to have a whole situation so long story short i kept my hair in the claw clip with the deep conditioner in it at tackle tuesday Got home about 9.30 ish, wash or rinse it out in the shower while I was taking my shower. And I got to the styling part. And I was gonna do like a braid out, and y'all, I really couldn't. So I just did like, I might have done like 10 big twists in my hair. And today I just wore it up in a claw clip at work. Cause I just, I just wanted to moisturize my hair, and I have plans this weekend. So I'm gonna need to do my hair again this weekend. But I just feel like it's time for me to figure out something with my hair so that I can just look decent throughout the week. Like it's about that time. I need to order me some more clip-ins cause I only have enough for like half of my head. Y'all know I have a hair extension line. And I, I can always get clip-ins for myself. The problem is coloring it. I don't be feeling like coloring my hair. Um, but I feel like I'm all over the place right now. I need to do that so I can just have my hair braided down underneath and I just clip my hair in clip my clippings in and it'll just give me a break so that's that's on our list of to do um things so i'm gonna actually do that today i'm gonna get me some hair i have hair i need one more pack of clippings anyway um i wanted to just show you guys a few things that i've gotten in the mail today i did a not yesterday yesterday i got a asos order in and I feel like I've been waiting for this order forever. Usually ASOS, I get the stuff like next day or at least like two days later. Because I had paid for next day shipping. But I think the deal was I ordered this on like a Friday. So I didn't get it until yesterday. Um, but I'm going on a, we have a trip. Um, we're going to Mexico. We're actually going to Cabo and I've never been to Cabo. 
in May. So I wanted to get like a few little things. My battery's about to die. So let me go and switch y'all out before I start talking. Okay, I'm back. So I want to show y'all what we got. Okay, so this is just like a cream crochet dress. I'm not gonna try it on, but it's so cute. I'm gonna put like a picture right here of it. But it's a maxi crochet or like knit dress that you could wear over a bathing suit. You also could do, it would be cute with like a um, some type of like undergarments underneath, like nude or something like that. So that, you know, your, your body isn't showing, but I could see that being really cute with like some shorts, like a cute pair, of like what do you call those? Not Spanx, but like thicker and actual meant to actually meant to be shown. Um, I can see that being really cute, but like a monochromatic look. So like a cream with the cream, oh, so cute. Um, so I'll pop a picture right here, but it's so cute and it fits so good. I got in an extra large. I probably could go down to a large. I'm in the middle of this like I'm in this weird after you lose weight phase where you're still trying to lose weight, but you don't want to go too small because you don't want to you know, do too much and get it all excited. But I I feel like I don't know my size right now. So I'm kind of in between sizes. I definitely could have done a large, but I'm gonna keep the extra large and just kind of see, you know. Then another um, vacation fit. But yeah, we're going to Cabo in May for a wedding, destination wedding. So I'm trying to just like slowly start getting some things. I really don't need much vacation stuff. I still have stuff from my honeymoon that I never wore. Um, but I thought this like little one piece was so cute. It's just a one piece, but it has it's sparkly. It's like a teal sparkly color. And then it has like the little seashell. How cute is that? And I love the little details on the tie. And it's just really good quality, nice and thick. So I'm gonna pop a picture of this one up too. But it's a one piece, it's very simple. But I love a good one piece every now and then. Or a lot of times, honestly. One pieces can be very um like flattering. And just it helps, you know, keep everything together. You just look really nice. Now this dress that I got is more like for Sundays. Um dressy, modest, but cute enough for like, you know, Sunday's best type vibe. So I got this one in like this chartreuse color, is what they call it. Chartreuse, but it's almost like a lime green, but not. It's more yellow, green, yellow. That's what they call it, yellow green. But it's really pretty. It has like the, not ruffles, but like this fabric. I, it was different for me. Um, But it has like the drop neck. I thought it was nice. It's way longer than I expected it to be. It's almost to the floor on me, so I'm going to get it hemmed. Um, Because I don't need anything that long. But just like, I'm gonna get it midi length, so probably like to my calves, just so it's still nice and modest, but not, you know, um, to the floor. So, really cute. And then, who is texting me? Then we got an order in from the tie bar, and Corey needed like some more ties and like dress up stuff again for like, you know, Sundays and our meetings. And um, we dress up two times a week. So, he needs, and I'm talking like suit and tie and like dress so Corey needs a lot of ties and socks dress socks um all of that stuff so we did an order for him y'all i've been loving Corey's. lets me kind of just do my thing as far as like if i see something i like but um i want to show y'all and i kind of planned a few outfits based on some things we have going on I, that's why i should do i should show y'all how I like do my outfit planning because I love doing that. I sit in the bed sometimes and I just like shop and like put things together and help me. It helps me figure out outfits. I normally do it for like vacations and stuff when I'm packing to see what I want to pack, but I've been doing it period lately just for a lot of things. So I'll show y'all. But um, this is our first time shopping with the tie bar, but they just have really good prices and. A lot of options, there's so much stuff. So we got this tie. Let me turn the brightness down. So if your man, your husband, your boyfriend, whatever, if he's like a suit and tie type of guy, you know, he's wearing suits and ties, he works like a corporate job or for a church or whatever it could be. Um, or for any reason he's wearing a tie. Um, I would definitely check them out. Really good quality. This is the first one we got, this diagonal stripe green one so it's just green and like tan or 
green and cream. So that was nice. I'm gonna do like that. I've got a mix between green and blue because I feel like he has, he wears a lot of blue with his suits and stuff. Um, so I got those two just to kind of like add to his collection. And what I like about men's like dress up fashion or like suit styles, you can mix colors, you can mix patterns. It really, it, I, it's so fun. So I love doing it. Um, but for the green, I'm gonna just show you the green stuff first. This is the green tie, striped tie. This one is green polka dot, which now that I'm looking at it, I'm not too crazy about this one. I feel like it can be nice. I don't know if y'all can see it. The polka dots are so little. I don't know, something about it. Just, let me take it out of here. I like the striped one. This one is nice too, but this one, I like it more. And then to go with that green, I also got a green like pocket square. And this is more of like a hunter green, but still you can, you know, mix and match with these nicely. Like say you have this in the pocket in this, oh, as a tie, that looks really nice. Or this is a tie, this in the pocket, still really nice. So I thought that was a cute color because I know he doesn't have any, oh, and it's knit. So it's like a different fabric. He likes knit ties. So I figured he would like like a knit pocket square. And then, Then I got these socks. How cute are these? So they have like flowers on them. And he loved all of this stuff once I was showing it to him, but he could mix and match this with all of these different green things. So cute. So that's everything green. And that's got a few blue things. Cause like I said, he has a lot of blue stuff already. Um, so for the blue, I got, I love this tie y'all. Something about this. It actually has green and blue in it. But he has a suit that I thought this would be so nice with. Let me take, take out the plastic. So oh, nice. The background is like a dark green. And then it has the light blue flowers. Um, so I'll show y'all how he's going to wear it. Um, and then we can just kind of go from there. And then these socks. Which honestly, I would do it. I feel like... I feel like you can do these socks with your suit and then this tie because it's it's almost like something about it. Like you can kind of mix and match and it still look really nice and classy. Um, so yeah, he loved all of these. So I'm excited to see how it all comes together. And then um, the last thing we got was these two little tie bar clip things. Um, we got one gold, which I didn't realize it was going to be this small. I did get the smallest one, but I think I thought it was in width or in height, not in length. Was this length? Is this length or is this width? I thought it was going to be in height. So it said like three millimeters. It must have meant, I mean, three centimeters. It must have meant three centimeters wide and not high. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> but whatever. I think he could still wear it as like a small little clip. So I got one in gold and one in silver. Corey's gonna cry laughing when he sees this. <laughs> it's so small. Like, what can you do with this? I think this size is meant for those really skinny ties, which he doesn't like those. I don't like them either, but it's one inch. It says one inch. What can you do with that? Let me see, let me put it on this tie. Let's see what it looks like. So here's the, the stripe one. <laughs> Okay. It doesn't look bad, but it definitely should have been like to there. But it's okay. He, I'm sure he'll wear it. But whatever. So yeah, that's what we got from the tie bar. Um, I'll link the ones, the ties and the um, stuff that we got down below. If you want to get something for your man or if you want to, you know, if he's a dress up type of guy. I'm sure he would like that website if you haven't already tried it. Um, that's everything that we've gotten in this week. I There was something else that came in. So yeah, that's everything for now. I'm about to clean up the kitchen, the living room, and probably do a little bit of work on a computer and relax for a little while. I just looked at my schedule and moved um, one of my clients because she needs to be rescheduled. So now I have a late start 
to my morning tomorrow, which I'm happy about, so I can get some things done tonight and have a slow morning. So that should be nice. So let's clean this kitchen. It's not bad. I just want to put some of the dishes up, pick up all my mess over here, and get our life together. Also, y'all, I've been thinking about getting, I saw this coffee table. I feel like I need a coffee table. At first, I didn't want to get one, but I feel like I need one because when people are over or when we're chilling on the sofa, there's nowhere for us to put our drinks or like if we want to eat on the sofa, there's nowhere for us to put our stuff. So I'm, we've been thinking about, I've been thinking about getting one. Um, just so we can have that, but this is a small space, so I don't want to, you know, take up too much space. I saw one on, surprisingly on, um, Walmart and it was such a good price. I think it was like $104 for a nice plastic, I think it was plaster. Cause I wanted like either like a stone, some type of stone or something um i'll show y'all what it looks like i'm, I'm gonna measure and see how that would look putting on love and marriage huntsville this is my guilty pleasure right now especially when i don't have anything else to put on i started from the beginning so i always had something to watch with this crazy show it's about doing what it takes i'm looking for a new foundation yeah and I'm on that new vibration I'm building my own foundation, yeah I was sitting down on front talking to Corey And I was like, I was supposed to be measuring for this coffee table So let me show y'all the one that I'm thinking about getting It's from Walmart actually i just been Google. That's how I've been finding things lately, just Googling Um Like what I'm looking for and then it'll pop up the different websites And when I saw Walmart, I was like huh but walmart y'all lately has been hitting okay look how cute my picture looks back there but these are them and i actually so okay let me show you the coffee table first so this is the coffee table and it says it's a plaster of is it plaster or a full full plaster but it looks like plaster which is what i was going for i wanted something like natural looking and then it also they also have these side tables it's a different um listing this is the this is the coffee table so the dimensions are 35 by 35 is like how wide it is so let me see. i just don't want to be too big i just don't want to be like unable to walk so that would be the coffee table i guess that's not bad and i still have like all of this space to walk i can always return it like if it's not giving or if it's too big so then this is the other one this is the side tables so i even contemplated doing just the side tables and doing like because it comes with a set of two and i could do them next to each other and make it like a big you know let me see the dimensions of that okay so that's done we have ordered our thing our coffee table so i'll Put it down below like in case you guys want to grab you one too um if it will work for you i'm gonna pick up these coasters and then i want to show y'all one more thing that i'm returning it's this silver denim like strapless dress really cute but it was too big for me it's, it's mainly too big it's too big everywhere honestly but it's so cute and it has it's like silver it's like silver foiling almost Love the material because it's kind of stretchy. So I probably could go down two sizes, really. But I'm going to go down one and just see. I don't want to get too crazy. Um, but I'll attach a picture right here so y'all can see what it looks like. Um, but it was just way too big. So I'm going to return that one, get a new size. And yeah. Okay, I'm about to sit, relax. I may do some editing. But right now I just want to kind of watch TV. And I'll pick y'all up later. Actually, I think I might end the vlog out here. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. If you did, make sure you let me know down below. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see y'all next time. Hold up. Oh, baby, baby, you won't break my soul. Oh, no. you won't